Hello students, today I am going to teach you a very interesting chapter, chapter 7, Coordinate Geometry. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about introduction to coordinate geometry, distance formula, section formula and area of triangle. What does coordinate geometry actually mean? For this, we need to consider x axis and y axis. Now this is called x axis and this is called y axis. Now these axes are used to recognize a point on a plane, one single plane which is known as Cartesian plane. So basically the two dimensional plane is called the Cartesian plane or the coordinate plane and the axes are called the coordinate axis or x axis or y axis. Now the location of any point on a coordinate plane means what if I will consider a point P. It is expressed by a pair of values x comma y means this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate. So, the coordinate geometry is one of the branches of geometry where the position of a point is defined using coordinates. Now comes the Cartesian plane is divided into four sections means four equal sections and these sections is known as quadrants. The quadrants are named in a particular order which we need to strictly follow. This is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Now in quadrant 1, the x coordinate and the y coordinate both are positive. As you can see the values of x over here are positive, the values of y are positive. So, as we move to anti-clockwise direction, we name this quadrant as quadrant 2. Here, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinates are positive. As you can see, the values of x over here are negative and here the value of x are positive. So, in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, in both the quadrants, the y coordinate is positive. Now, again when we move to anti-clockwise direction, we comes to quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, as you can see both x and y are negative. So, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is negative. And again when we move to anti-clockwise direction, we comes to quadrant 4. Here, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. So, in both the quadrants, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4, you can see that the value of y coordinate is negative. Now, where the point origin comes? When the two lines x axis and y axis meet at a point and this point is known as origin. Now, what are the real life applications of coordinate geometry? Coordinate is a number that determines the location of a point along some line or curve or a painter can use the concept of coordinate geometry in painting his picture. Also, the concept of coordinate geometry is used to define the position of objects in space and time. So, there are lot of things around us where you can see the use of coordinate geometry. Now, distance formula. Why distance formula is important? Basically, the distance formula is used to find the distance between two points. Now, distance formula is used to find the distance between two distinct points on a plane. Now, the formula was derived from the Pythagoras theorem which states 
that for any right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse if you will consider this right angle triangle so AC is the hypotenuse BC is the perpendicular and AB is the base. So, this is hypotenuse this is perpendicular and this is base. So, according to Pythagoras theorem you have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So, this formula is used to find out the formula for distance formula. Now, the distance of a point from the y axis is called its x coordinate. Suppose I consider the Cartesian plane and just mark a point P over here. Suppose this is 4 comma 3. So, here the distance of a point from the y axis is what? 4. So, this is called the x coordinate and 3 is called the y coordinate. As what is y coordinate? The distance of a point from the x axis is called the y coordinate or ordinate. This is also called x coordinate is also called abscissa and y coordinate is called ordinate. Now, the coordinates of a point on the x axis on the x axis means somewhere here. So, here the x coordinate is x and the y coordinate will become 0. And the coordinate of a point on the y axis means somewhat here. So, this point is here the x coordinate will become 0 and y coordinate will remain y only. So, in case of coordinate geometry when a person moves from one point to another point. Suppose a person is standing at point A and he is moving towards point B. So, the person is moving from point A to point B then the distance between the starting point and the ending point is calculated by using distance formula. Now, we will derive distance formula. For this we need to consider two points on a plane which is called a Cartesian plane or the coordinate plane. For this the C point P which is x1 comma y1 and point Q as x2 comma y2. Then we need to draw two parallel lines parallel to x axis from point Q and point P and two parallel lines which are parallel to y axis from point Q and point P. Now, as you can see the parallel line through P, parallel line through P will meet the perpendicular drawn to the x axis from Q at T. So, we will get a right angle triangle which is right angled at T, P, Q and T. So, in this right angle triangle what is PT? PT is the base what is QT? QT is the perpendicular and what is PQ? PQ is the hypotenuse. Now, we have to simply apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. What will you get? PQ square is equal to PT square plus QT square. Now, you have to substitute the values of PT and QT in terms of x1 y1 and x2 y2. For this how you will find out the value of pt? This total is x2 and this is x1. So, to find pt what we have to do? We have to subtract x2 minus x1. So, this is x2 minus x1. So, value of pt is x2 minus x1. How you will get the value of qt? This total is y2 and this is 
y1. So, y2 minus y1 will give you the value of qt. Substitute the values of pt and qt over here. What will you get? pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Hence, the distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Similarly, the distance of a point Pxy from the origin O which is 0 comma 0 in the Cartesian plane is given by the formula. What you need to do as we have taken two points Px1 y1 and Qx2 y2 to derive this formula. Simply substitute in place of x1 as x in place of y1 as y and in place of x2 as 0 and y2 as 0 because this point is x2 y2 and this point is x1 y1. So, you will get op as square root of x square plus y square. Now, let us solve some problems based on the distance formula. Example 1, find the distance between the two points a 1 comma 2 and b minus 2 comma minus 2. For this what we need to do? We have to consider these points as two points a and b have coordinates 1 comma 2 and minus 2 comma 2 respectively. So, let a 1 comma 2 will be x 1 y 1 and b minus 2 comma 2 will be x 2 y 2. Suppose this is point A and this is point B and I need to find the distance between these two points. Here the value of x 1 will be 1, here the value of y 1 will be 2, here the value of x 2 will be minus 2 and y 2 will be 2. So, distance formula is square root of x 2 minus x 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 whole square. Simply substitute the values of x 1, y 1, x 2 and y 2 in this formula. As I told you x 2 is what? Minus 2. So, minus 2 x 1 is 1, 1 whole square plus y 2 is 2 and y 1 is again 2. So, 2 minus 2 whole square. So, minus 2 minus 1 will give you minus 3. So, minus 3 whole square plus 2 minus 2 will give you 0. So, plus 0 whole square. You will get square root of 9 which is 3. So, the distance between these two points is 3 units. Now, let us take another example. Show that the points 1 comma 7, 4 comma 2, minus 1 comma minus 1 and minus 4 comma 4 are the vertices of a square. As you know in a square all sides are equal and the length of diagonals are equal. So, what we need to prove over here? We need to find the distance between all the sides and the distance between the diagonals. If all of them are equal means all sides are equal and both the diagonals are equal. So, these points will form a square. So, let P is 1 comma 7, Q is 4 comma 2, R is minus 1 comma minus 1 and S is minus 4 comma 4. So, P, Q, R, S will form a square or these are the vertices of a square when p q is equal to q r is equal to r s is equal to s p and the diagonal p r and q s are equal. So, 
Now, by the distance formula, we will find the distance between PQ, QR, RS, PS, PR and QS. Now, what is the distance formula? As you know, the distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. If I will consider this point as x1, y1 and this as x2, y2. I can find out the value of this by simply substituting the values of x1 as 1, y1 as 7, x2 as 4, y2 as 2. So, what will you get? 4 minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus 7 whole square. You will get square root of 9 plus 25 which is square root 34. Now, for QR, what will you consider? Consider this point as x3 comma y3. What will you get? Now, x3 minus x2 whole square, y3 minus y2 whole square. So, what will you get? Minus 1 minus 4 whole square plus minus 1 minus 2 whole square. You will get square root of 25 plus 9 which is again square root 34. Similarly, when you will solve for RS and SP, you will get square root of 34. So, all sides are equal because the length of all the sides are coming as root 34. Now, for the diagonal PR, we need to consider point P as x1, y1 and R as x2, y2. Again, consider x1 as 1, y1 as 7 and r is minus 1, minus 1. So, x2 is minus 1, y1 is minus 1. So, PR will be square root of minus 1, minus 1 whole square plus minus 1, minus 7 whole square. You will get square root 68. For QS, again you have to consider Q and S, substitute the values you will get square root of 68. So, length of diagonals are also same. Since PQ is equal to QR is equal to RS is equal to PS which is square root 34 and PR is equal to QS which is square root of 68. So, PQ RS is a square. Now, we will come to exercise 7.1 question number 3. Determine if the points 1,5 2 comma 3 minus 2 comma minus 1 are collinear. Now, what does collinear means? Means they lie on one line. Means these three points will lie on a line. So, what we have to do? If the sum of the lengths of any two line segments is equal to the length of the third line segment, then all the three points are collinear. So, basically we will prove that AB plus BC, AB plus BC is equal to CA. If this is equal, then these three points are collinear and if it, this is not equal, then these three points are not collinear. So, for this we need to find the distance between points AB, BC and CA by using distance formula. For AB, use the distance formula. What is distance formula? Square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. For AB, what is x2? This is x2 which is 2. What is x1? 1 which is x1. So, 2 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 this is y2 this is y1. So, 3 minus 5 whole square after solving what will you get root 5. For BC this is x2 this is x1 this is y2 this is y1. So, simply substitute the values 
minus 2 minus 2 whole square plus minus 11 minus 3 whole square what will you get square root of 212 for C A simply substitute the values C A means this is x 1 this is y 1 for this it will become x 2 and y 2 solve this you will get square root of 265 now substitute here a b plus b c is equal to c a do you think if you will add root 5 plus square root of 212 will you get square root of 265 no so therefore the points 1 5 2 3 and minus 2 minus 11 are not collinear let us take up some questions for your homework. Question 1 check whether 5 minus 2, 6, 4 and 7 minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Question 2 find the point on the x axis which is equidistanced from 2 minus 5 and minus 2, 9. Third find the values of y for which the distance between the point P which is 2 minus 3 and Q 10 Y is 10 units. Now let us quickly recapitulate what we have discussed today. In general the distance travelled by an object with a certain speed at a specific speed is calculated using the formula given below as distance is equal to speed into time but in this coordinate geometry we have just derived the formula for distance formula so distance can be calculated using the formula derived from the Pythagoras theorem in coordinate geometry the distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square as we have considered two points point a as x1 y1 and point B as x2, y2. So, in a plane how can we find the distance between these two points by using this formula. I hope you have understood the concept taught today very well. Thank you.